Well, many of you might have heard um, Jeff Sessions fired Andrew McCabe just days before he was about to retire. And he is mad as hell. He is so mad that he is vowing to out a lot of things that go on at the White House. But, you know, we've seen this before. It, you know, the White House staff seem to be coming and going like a revolving door. Trump, um, you know, just can't keep anyone, it just seems like. Um, you know, most presidents, when they have their first year in office, you know, the turnover rate is really not all that high. But for Trump, it's been in double digits and it's just steadily uh, going up. It's not <laughs> it's not dropping at all. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite this horrific in my life as far as a White House staff coming and going. This is definitely by far the worst. So this is a story that came out in USA Today. FBI Andrew McCabe fired days before retirement. Trump applause sessions move. Trump seems to take a lot of pleasure in just having chaos around him. You know, it's almost kind of sick in his psyche, you know, but some people are like that. I don't like that kind of stuff because many of those people tend to be unstable. They are real flighty. You don't know what they're going to be like from one day to the next. I sure wouldn't like anything like that. That would just get on my nerve after a while. But I'm going to go ahead and play the video. Let me see. Go. Taking part in March Madness office pools over in the White House, staffers are reportedly filling out brackets of their own, betting on who will be fired next. Reporter Josh Dossey of the Washington Post writing on Twitter, White House officials have begun betting pools of sorts among each other on who's getting ousted next. A lot of people who are usually in the know are not in the know. Always fluid in the White House, but seems particularly so right now. <laughs> MSNBC's Stephanie Rule claiming she's also hearing rumblings of a dead pool. Following the unceremonious ouster of Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, President Trump telling reporters, I'm really at a point where we're getting very close to having the cabinet and other things that I want. So who could go next? According to Fox News' John Roberts, H.R. McMaster could be next to go. He's Trump's national security advisor, and sources say his ouster as part of the bloodbath is imminent. The two have reportedly feuded before. Business Insider reporting he's once threatened to quit. Veterans Affairs Secretary David Shulkin is also reportedly drawing the ire of Trump over allegations he's used his security detail to run personal errands. The long embattled Attorney General Jeff Sessions is also never far from the conversation, and Chief of Staff John Kelly is also a name being floated. But despite this, according to the New York Times, Trump has enlisted Kelly's help in provoking Jerry. Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump's departure. Well, there you go. Yesterday, the Washington Post. There you go. So they they got a betting pool of who's going to be next. Wow. So we know Andrew McCrabe was fired. Trump applauded this firing done by Jeff Sessions. And here's his actual tweet about it. Andrew McCabe fired. A great day for the hardworking men and women of the FBI. A great day for democracy. Wow. Isn't that... Wow. <laughs> so apparently James Comey was his boss and made McCabe look like a choir boy. He knew all about the lies and corruption going on at the highest level of the FBI. <coughs> okay, so that's what Trump put out. Uh, if only if this man could just stay off of Twitter. He's worse than a teenager on Twitter. It's just disgusting. Okay, so now McCrabe said he ain't taking this sitting down. He is going to out a lot of things going on at the White House <laughs> for this firing. So he's not a happy camper at all. Okay. So I'm sure it could be even another book deal. 
coming out from him and others, you know, can't be surprised about a lot of these type of things. Um, and Trump is going to be outed on a lot of things. I'm sure they have a lot of stories to tell about how the Trump administration is ran. And, and just from what many of us see, it's chaotic. There's no real order there. It's almost like everybody in there is just trying to wing it and get through the day the best that they can. And it's, it's just a, it's a disaster. This is definitely, in my lifetime, the worst White House I've ever seen in my life. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and also join me on blackspot.com um, and Black Junction TV. Peace, family.